Hello, hello, hello again, life changers. It is scripture and prayer time. And I will be reading from the book of Romans, the 8th chapter and verse 14. And it reads as following. It says, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, the Spirit which always leads us back to the cross, they are the sons of God. We live as sons of God, which refers to our total victory within every aspect of our lives. That is awesome. But now look at what it's saying. If any man is living in a sinful nature and it is dominating him, that person isn't living as a son of God. So what is it saying? We are either liberated and taking a hold to the finished work of Christ, and we are walking in liberation by the Spirit of God, or either we are being dominated by sinful nature. Our sinful nature will dominate us and keep us in sin and keep us in bondage, and we're not walking like God at all. So take a hold to the word. And what we need to do is we need to ask God to help us in those areas of our lives that are coming up short. We need his help because it is to cover every aspect of our lives because of the victory that was won when he said it was finished. When Christ said it was finished, it was final. Let us pray. Most gracious and divine Father, we just thank you for the power and the life of your word. God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you would send forth your spirit and that you would begin, oh God, to do a work, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen that is that is weak inside, oh God. Renew our hearts. Give us the right spirit in the name of Jesus. We thank you for what you're going to do. We count it done for your glory. In Jesus' name now, amen and bless God.